It's the anniversary of YouTube Rewind. Oh, that's hot. And to celebrate, we're looking back at all the YouTube Rewinds, picking out the wildest moments and deciding once and for all which is the most cringe using our patented cringe scale. This is Scroll Deep. The Court of Cringe is now in session. The Honourable Judge Benedict Townsend providing. Let's look at... <coughs> Let's look at YouTube Rewind number one. So we begin with the 2010 YouTube Rewind, which was the very first YouTube Rewind. The theme was just the top 10 most popular videos of the year. There was no real theme. In fact, this is really just kind of a slideshow of videos. There's no cancelled people. There's no YouTubers in it, really. It's just like the old Spice Guy, the double rainbow video. A lot of them taking credit for creating Justin Bieber. So really, not much going on, to be honest. I'm now going to turn to the Scroll Deep team, Aiden and Tia. Guys, do you notice anything crazy in this one? No, it was very boring. Okay, so now it's time to rank it, we're using our patented cringe scale, patent pending. So uh, at the bottom we have a glass of tap water, not cringe at all, just neutral. Above that we have uh, an uncle dancing, pretty cringe but also, you know, kind of harmless. Above that we have Everyday Bro with the Disney Channel flow, pretty damn cringe. Above that we have the Celebrity Imagine video, one of the most cringe things that's ever happened. And above that we have uh, our most cringe category which is Ermagerd, so cringe bro. Just so cringe it makes, makes you hurt. <laughs> so on the cringe scale for this one, I'm going to give it a glass of tap water, to be honest with you. It's so unremarkable that it manages to get away with not being cringe, apart from having double rainbow in it. Glass of water. 2011. Once again, the theme is just the 10 most popular videos of the year, but it's presented by Rebecca Black of Friday, Friday, gotta get on Friday fame. You got some notable people in here like Ray William Johnson, who was for quite a while the number one most subscribed person on YouTube. Most kids probably don't even know who that is now. Although I think he's back in YouTube shorts form. He's back! in shorts for it. It's actually aged quite well because Rebecca Black has come full circle now from being sort of this cringed, maligned figure to now like this quite cool edgy figure that everyone kind of likes. It also included some footage of like protests and natural disasters, which was unexpected for that early on. I like Nyan Cat. Nyan Cat was in it. Overall, it is just a top 10 again. Maybe we'd put it just above Glass of Water because it's slightly more cringe than the original one. I would say Glass of Water. Glass of Water, yeah. It's kind of a good one though. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I would like to see 2013. It's cringe in places, but it's not YouTube's fault. They're just showing videos that happen to be a bit cringe. Aiden makes a very good point, actually. There's a difference between the videos in Rewind being cringe and YouTube themselves being cringe. YouTube is absolved. All right, Glass of Water. But don't worry. Things are going to get more cringe. Rewind YouTube style. 2012, the year the world ended. And this is the first time that they've got a theme. And the theme is Rewind YouTube style. So things are already very 2012. This is the first proper like compilation video with proper YouTubers in it. It's all based around Gangnam Style and Call Me Maybe. You've got notable people like Grace Helbig, Corridor Digital, Freddie Wong, Smosh, Rhett and Link, Ryan Heger. I actually do think Rhett and Link might, I didn't do the maths bit because I'm lazy, but I do think Rhett and Link appear in basically every YouTube Rewind from now on. They may hold the record for the most appearances. In terms of things that haven't aged that well, there's a huge Cody 2012 reference, which look, I don't know if I have time to get into that now, but you just need to understand that it's cringe. Kasim G's in it, yeah. He's got cancelled, right? No, he just got rich and stopped making videos. I assume that too, but I looked up and he just um, made loads of money. <laughs> Watching everyone dance to a mashup of games them style and call me maybe is really something and is pretty cringe. Everything. Like they, they really think they're doing something. So it's definitely not glass of water. I will say actually, Gangnam Style holds up. That is kind of an all timer. What do you guys think we should rank this as? I hated this one so bad. Like, <laughs> all of the YouTubers I never watched in it. I was that person in the comments like, you forgot to include so-and-so. This is the Gen Z perspective, which is, <laughs> which you're, you're saying Irma Gerd for this one. Aiden's the boomer perspective. <laughs> this is kind of when I stopped recognizing like 90% of the people in this. With three in. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're going to put this in everyday bro. It's cringe, but it's going to get more cringe. All right, 2013, and the theme is what does 2013 say? Because of course the whole thing is based around what does the fox say? That video that was very funny for 21 minutes in 2013. Me love rewind. 
Notable people, we've got the first ever appearance of PewDiePie. We've got Ryan Heger, we've got Jenna Marbles playing Miley Cyrus, Epic Mealtime, Fine Bros. I and mean, you've got the slow-mo guys. Hi, Gavin. But we've also got our first appearance of some canceled people. Toby Turner turns up. There's also an extended Blurred Lines parody. Ooh. And that's not one of those ones where at the time they were like, they didn't realize at the time. They should have realized at the time. I'm gonna maintain my ooh. <laughs> but they also introduced the YouTube Rewind symbol and the YouTube Rewind button. Uh, we don't actually have one of those buttons, but we do have this rather shiny button here in our 100,000 subscriber plaque, which we got uh, five years ago. <laughs> Will we ever get 200,000 subscribers? Shut up! <laughs> There's also an appearance in this from Jimmy Fallon, starting this weird trend of not only non-YouTube people appearing in Rewind, but also loads of late night hosts appearing in Rewind. Like, I understand that late night show clips do very well on YouTube, but I do not think of them as YouTube videos or YouTube content. But from now on, spoiler alert, these late night hosts just dominate these videos and I do not understand. Also, everyone then does a Harlem shake in this video and they're screaming goats. So, is it cringe or is it just very of the time? I'd argue both. Let's take it to the uh, the jury. I think it's less of a celebration of YouTube when it's just popular things in general. Yeah, yeah, it's extending beyond actually what's just on YouTube. Now this one was my sh Oh wow. Like listen, it was the rise of Vivo. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, well, now YouTube has the music videos, all of them. So it makes sense that the less YouTuber content was now in the rewind. Now YouTube's got all the content. Mm. Hollow Shake was so serious. <laughs> and that was a genuine YouTube trend. Yeah. We can't ding it too much for being of the time, if it's accurate for the time. I think this might be less cringe than the previous one. Yes. I'm putting it in Uncle Dancing. All right, 2014. It's called Turn Down for 2014. It's based on Lil Jon's Turn Down for What. Lil Jon, of course, one of our greatest ever artists. You've got a lot more memes and references. You've got Let It Go. You've got Macklemore. Dan and Phil make an appearance, I think, for the first time. You've got Smosh, Hank and John Green, Jenna Marbles, Tyler Oakley. Not actually a ton of cancelled people, as far as I know. We've got the fine bros. Oh, the fine bros. Although I will say, tons of late night hosts. That's not YouTube. Who cares? I like that they've gone more international with this one. Agree. Although this does start, I think, a bad trend of them being like, can we cram every YouTuber who's ever lived into this video? Yes, this is the one that Troy Sivan is in. 12 year old Troy Sivan playing Flappy Bird. Overall, I think it is quite cringe because there's so much late night stuff in it. I'm gonna put it in Everyday Bro. Because there's more cringe to come. Just hit rewind. All right, 2015. It's called Now Watch Me 2015. It's of course based on the famous whip, and dare I say it also, the Nay Nay. You've got a lot more gamers in this one. This is the year of gaming. You've got, oh my, oh my god, Maki Moo. Eki Maki Moo's on screen. Maki Moo's in this, Captain Sparkles, Matt Pat, Smosh Games. You've got Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my god, Maki Moo and FNAF. Oh my god. You've also got James Corden, Boo. Miranda Sings, ooh! A Shia LaBeouf reference, hoo hoo! You got PewDiePie and Zoella hanging out for the first and assuredly last time. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Overall, actually, not that cringe. Quite a nice cramming together of lots of YouTube stars. Again, very international, to jump on Aiden's point. They managed to get people from around the world. Before, where it'd be three people dancing, now it's just 30 people dancing on like a beach, and it's like blink and you miss it. And you know, they were on the money with the gaming stuff, because that was really, that was the approach YouTube was gonna take. That's the fun thing about YouTube Rewind is that you can kind of chart the course of YouTube through it. You know, it's like, oh, now they like music videos. Now they like gaming. Now everyone is mad at each other and screaming. I hated it. All the most annoying commercial YouTubers were in this one. Mm. It's just the start of the money grab of YouTube Rewind. Well, if you don't like commercial YouTubers, I've got bad news about everything else that's about to come up. I actually kind of like this one more than- It's very cringe. Let's put it in every day, bro. Let's average out your two. YouTube Rewind. 2016. All right, 2016, and the title is YouTube Rewind, the ultimate 2016 challenge. This, of course, was the infamous era of YouTube challenges. That's sort of the theme, I guess. There aren't really any challenges in it. You've got notable people like Dan and Phil, Tom Skirt, Ollie White, KSI, Mark Ass Brownlee. Now listen, I know his name is Marquez Brownlee, but of course Will Smith famously is about to say Mark Ass Brownlee, and I will always think of him that way. What's aged well? Well, there's a big focus on Damn Daniel. Damn Daniel, which has not aged well. But there is also Pen Pineapple Apple Pen, which freaking rules. I love that guy. Uh, there's a huge bottle flip section very off the time, including a bit of Seth Meyers apparently pretending to watch a bottle flip, and they clearly did not explain to him what was meant to be happening. They clearly went, Seth, just lift your head, because he's just like, and it doesn't work. You've also got Dwayne The Rock Johnson, James Corden, 
Hodor from Game of Thrones. None of these people are YouTubers. There's some iconic stuff in here. Yeah, this is like... kind of good. The dance mitts in it are actually good. And Alfie Days is in it. Yeah. Alfie Days is in it. And he's not a Tory. There's this thing they do in Rewind, which is so funny, which is that the camera either pans to someone and they just kind of... And it just, it just lingers, because you know the person's like, that's right, it's me. <laughs> so overall, we're going to give it, what, average? Uncle Dancing? Uncle Dancing. Yeah. Welcome back to YouTube Rewind. 2017, this is The Shape of 2017, named of course for the song by Mr. Edward Sheeran. There's a little bit of other theming here, there's a lot of Despacito, there's a lot of international music in this. Well, it opens with Stephen Colbert, so again, the late night host thing, they're obsessed with this. You've got Jake Paul and Logan Paul, who I think were in it before, but this time are really prominently featured. You've got Marshmello, not a YouTuber. There's a blink and you'll miss it appearance from the Man's Not Hot guy, which is fantastic. <laughs> PewDiePie was completely excluded from this particular installment because of all of his controversies that year. How could they not have included PewDiePie? In terms of stuff that's aged well or badly, you've got fidget spinners, the song Shooting Stars. There's also a reference to the solar eclipse that happened in 2017, which is a real like thing no one remembers. But I do think that was the eclipse that Donald Trump stared directly into without glasses. So it's kind of famous for that. But this is probably most famous for being the YouTube Rewind where everyone started getting mad. 2017 was a pretty nasty year on the internet, especially on YouTube. It was kind of a hangover from 2016 being such a terrible year. This ended up being the 35th most disliked YouTube video of all time, which is really funny because I went on it the other day and all the comments now were like, this one was so good. Why weren't the recent ones like this? And it's like, you hypocrites, you all hated this at the time. People started complaining at this point because they were like, oh, you know, why isn't this person in it? Why isn't this person in it? Why can't every YouTuber in the world be in it? The biggest problem with these videos is there's too many people in them and it just becomes a headache. Some of them might be famous, but some of them might also be people who just had a big viral video that year. That's the problem. If you're big that year, you get in it, but then you watch it in the future and it's like, who are you? Overall, I'm gonna actually give this quite a high cringe rating because I think the video is quite cringe, but also the fact that everyone hated it so much is inherently cringe. I know that's not YouTube's fault, but I'm blaming all of you for this. So I'm putting it in, what are the categories? <laughs> I'm putting this in the Celebrity Imagine video. It's the shooting stars bit. The shooting stars bit is cringe. The montage of them all holding hands while looking up at the rewind eclipse is so imaginal. The yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine Gal there with them. Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. YouTube Rewind 2018, Everyone Controls Rewind. This is an infamous YouTube Rewind. It's called Everyone Controls Rewind, partly because the theme is the people in it pretending to control the video, but also because apparently they asked viewers what they wanted to see in the video, and that influenced what happened, but a lot of people contest that. Let's give the people what they want. The way that they show the comments is almost like blaming us. It's like, mm. well, you asked for this, <laughs> yeah. so this is why you're getting... Then why did you ask for it? It's got K-pop, Mukbang, Mark Ass Brownlee. I want Fortnite and Mark Ass Brownlee. Is this what you wanted? In the battle bus with Ninja. Ninja at the time, famously not a YouTuber, by the way. Much like almost everyone else in this video. It's got Will Smith. Oh, that's um, hot. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. Take Mark Ass Brownlee's name <laughs> out your mouth. <laughs> I was going to. So sad the way Chris Rock says that. Oh no, the Try Guys! Oh no, the Try Guys show up. John Oliver doing a Fortnite dance is like my sleep paralysis demon. Number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Get down. Someone getting married to Bongo Cat? Yeah, someone gets married to Bongo Cat. The Dolan twins are in this one and never to be seen again. Possibly the first and last appearance of the Dolan twins, crushed by a giant rewind button. They also do this weird thing halfway through where they start trying to sort of acknowledge social causes. They'll be like, let's acknowledge the leap forwards in Asian representation this year. And then they'll just move on. And it's like, well, shall we? You can't just say it. You have to like do a bit more. Than At one point they're like, let's acknowledge the working mothers. And it's like, yeah, good. But like, acknowledge them then. You can't just say the names of things out loud. It's the shots of other YouTubers. Not yeah, they're like, wow. yes, those working moms are working. <laughs> it's like Gabby Hanna. Yeah, it's Gabby Hanna. There's so many people in this and it's just, Oh, it's it's a lot, and people hated it. Why would you say something? Because I hate you. Oh. I believe it was the most disliked YouTube video of all time at the time. Even the YouTube CEO, Susan herself, said, "quote Even my kids called it cringy." So even she had to admit that no one liked this video. So I'm going to put this honestly. I'm going to put this as maximum cringe. I think they were trying everything and they failed basically on all counts. It's going in Irmagird, which would make you think. Hey, 
Let's just stop doing this every year. We're YouTube, we're spending, I assume, a huge amount of money and time to make these videos, which everyone just yells at us about. Let's stop making them. But no, they did not learn. Not yet. YouTube Rewind 2019. This is actually the very last one. A lot of us, I think, have a slight Mandela effect memory of there being more than this. No, 2019 was the last one. It's called For The Record. Uh, and the theme was a montage of top videos from 2019. They basically said, listen kids, if you don't stop complaining, we're gonna turn the rewind around. There'll be no rewind for anyone. And everyone complained, and so they did. So basically this is a bit like the original format. This is like the original 2010 one, where they just show top videos. They're like, these are the top videos, these are the top music videos. We're gonna stop spending all this money because you guys complained. And then, surprise, surprise, everyone complained. They're like, oh no, where's the Fortnite bus? Where's Mark Ass Brownlee? I will say, what's kind of remarkable, considering this is a much shorter and cheaper and more simple video, the sheer amount of cancelled people they managed to pack into this one instalment. You got Shane Dawson, you got James Charles, you got David Dobrik. It's just crazy. You, all you need is a dream in there just to complete the kind of trifecta of people that everyone's just generally mad at all the time. Mr. Beast shows up in this, I think possibly for the first time. Mr. Beast is a very recent phenomenon which people forget about. Mr. Beast carried on the legacy of the rewind. He did. Well, he tried to. Oh, that's hot. So, what do we make of this one? Obviously, there's a lot less razzle dazzle, there are a lot more cancelled people, but is that YouTube's fault? It's actually our fault for making them the most viewed videos. Yeah, it's true. It's the viewers' fault. It's the children who are wrong. So I'm absolving YouTube of this. I think this one is relatively uncringe. What do you guys think? They got it from the start and they should have just stuck with that instead yeah. of going off the rails. Yeah, they stopped giving us what we said we wanted to see. They were just like, well, here you go. Here's what you actually watch then. You got me. <laughs> you got me. I will say that the inherent bitterness behind this video is somewhat cringe on YouTube's part. Uh, let's put it in like uncle dancing. I think it's fine. Now, 2020 rolls around and everyone's like, are they gonna do a YouTube Rewind? But you may not remember this, 2020, kind of a year that was awful and sucked. And so for all of the million obvious reasons, YouTube was like, maybe we won't do a fun, cheery end of year video, mainly because no one's really been making any videos outside this year. But also, you know, it probably would have just been another slideshow video anyway. So they basically took that as a chance to kill the YouTube Rewind. And we have not had an official YouTube Rewind since. Mr. Beast and other people have attempted their own YouTube Rewinds. It did obviously millions of views, but by his standard, you'd expect it to be like the most viewed video of all time, and it actually did fine. 69 million, nice. But for Mr. Beast, that's like, that's Tuesday. Do you know what I mean? And it just goes to show, people don't know what they want. They say they want a, a YouTube Rewind, and then a, a mere 69 million of them watch it, you know? Crazy. That's like an average episode of Scroll Deep. RIP YouTube Rewind, we hardly knew ye. Keep spitting. You know, you went from being a humble slideshow to being just a focal point of hate. But uh, what did we learn along the way? I'd argue nothing. Any final thoughts while I smoke this pipe? <laughs> Bring YouTube Rewind back! No, no! If you were Will Smith, and, and, that, and that'd be hot. You're in charge of YouTube Rewind 2023. What's the theme? The theme is like panic and destruction. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the band with Brendan Urie. That's the worst. Of yes, the yes, it's like all the most evil. <laughs> Mizzy shows things. up driving a train midway through the, and he's like, "It's me, Mizzy." Just lean into the hate. They should embrace it. You're saying we should do an evil, evil rewind. Yes, evil rewind. evil rewind. Like a Wario oh to the rewinds God. Mario. So there we have it. What was your favorite YouTube rewind, or indeed your favorite YouTube rewind moment? Was it Mark Ass Brownlee? Is this what you wanted? Let us know in the comments down below. And do you want to see YouTube rewind come back? Also, answer the million dollar question. What would the theme of the 2023 YouTube Rewind be? Sorry that I'm threatening you with this hammer, but I really want to know. What would the theme of it be? Because I actually, I, I like this question and I want to want to know what it would be. From all of us here, <laughs> scroll deep. Follow for more. Goodbye. <laughs> Case closed.